Huge thank you to my four members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Nested scenes are by far one of the most useful techniques that you can learn in OBS. They open up opportunities for very cool and exciting things and allow you to add so much more production value to your streams. Tonight, we're gonna go over what nested scenes are, how do they work, what are some of the cool things that you can do with them and why you need them right now. Let's go. How's it going, guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is DCNCRO. Guys, tonight I want to teach you all one of the most amazing techniques that I've ever learned in OBS. If you guys don't know what nested scenes are, let me teach you a little bit about them. Nested scenes are when you add a scene that has one or more sources inside of them into another scene. Let's suppose you have a scene called cameras and inside the scene you have both your primary camera and your secondary camera as two sources. Then you go ahead and you make another scene called displays and inside that display scene you have both your main monitor and I don't know your Spotify window. And then you make another scene called gameplay and instead of you adding each individual source inside your gameplay scene you instead you bring your camera scene and you bring your display scene into that gameplay scene. Does that make sense? You're essentially nesting two separate scenes inside of one. If that didn't make too much sense, don't worry, we're going to be making one together and I'll be explaining a little bit more along the way. I'll also be telling you guys some of the benefits of having nested scenes because trust me on this, the benefits are incredible. And towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how I have my scenes, how I nested them, and why I did it like that. All right, here we have a brand new clean OBS. Nothing too crazy here besides our already existing just chatting and our gameplay scene. Well, we're not gonna need any of those scenes anymore, so send them to the Shadow Realm. Time to make some brand new ones. We're going to be recreating that diagram earlier in OBS. First thing is we're gonna make a brand new scene and we're gonna call it Cameras. And within this scene, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be adding our webcam, and then we're going to be adding another source. It can be anything that you want. It can be another webcam, it can be an image, it could even be a video of your room without you in it. For this, I'm going to be using my second webcam. And just for the sake of consistency, we're going to name them camera one and camera two. Now let's make a brand new scene, and we're gonna call it this place. Here we're going to add one display capture, and we're gonna call it display1. And for the second source, we can add whatever we want. I'm just going to window capture my Spotify. I'm gonna be naming it display2 for consistency. Awesome, now we have two scenes, each with two sources inside of them. Now let's make a third scene and we're going to name this gameplay. Over here, come over to sources, click the plus, and we're going to head over to scene. Firstly, we're going to be adding our display scene, and then we're going to be adding our camera scene. Just gonna resize this. So what we just done is that we added those two previous scenes that we created that we added our webcam and our window capture and our Spotify into into our gameplay scene so that's not just sources that we have there that's the whole scene so if we come over to cameras for example and we switch to the other camera when we go back to our gameplay scene you'll see that it automatically updates same thing with our display we can go over to display and toggle the other display on and if we go back to gameplay it'll automatically update it so, what are the benefits of this? What makes this a superior method to just adding the sources individually? Well, there's a few, but for starters, any filter that you apply to that scene will automatically affect all of the sources in that scene. Any new sources that you add to that scene will automatically update it in every other scene that that scene is nested in. And if you move the nested scene, you're also going to be moving whatever is inside of it as well, rather than you having to move everything individually. These are just some basic benefits, but there are so much more. But now I wanna showcase it to you guys, how I have my scenes nested on OBS, and I explain to you guys why I have it nested this way. All right, so here's my OBS. This is a version of my OBS that I'm currently not using. It's something that I'm working on to be used in the future. But this is how I have all of my scenes. If I change my camera or any of the effects that I have get triggered, it'll also affect all of the other scenes as well. All of them. No matter which one that I'm in, the effects will also take place in those scenes too. Let me show you how I have all of this organized. These are my nested scenes over here. It may look a little bit complex, but it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. 
On this scene over here, I have all of my cameras. So I have my main camera, I have my security camera, and in any circumstance that I would add a new camera, I would add it here. Then I have cameras RTX. On this scene, I have my camera scene nested inside of it, and then I added a virtual green screen filter on the camera RTX scene. That way, I also have a scene where no matter which camera I'm in, my virtual green screen effect will always be working on every single camera. So if I was to add a brand new camera to my camera scene, that camera will now also have an RTX version of itself added to the stream. The next scene that I have is my camera effect scene. And this part gets a little bit complex. So ignore the fake TV. Let's just focus on these two. So on this scene, I have both my cameras as well as my cameras RTX. I have my camera RTX at the top and then I have my normal cameras at the bottom. That way, if I want to put something behind me, such as my fake TV, I put in between my camera RTX and my cameras. I have my fake TV in between them both. That way, I look like I'm actually in front of the TV. But this is the scene that I add all of my effects and filters into. My camera effects scene, this scene right here, is what you guys see in my just chatting and in my gameplay and my reaction scenes. So if I head over to the filters that I have on this and I turn on one of the filters, say, let's go with Australia mode. If I go over to my just chatting, you will see that my just chatting is upside down as well. And if I go to the other scenes as well, I'll also be upside down on them. Does that make sense? Were you guys able to follow on my explanation? If not, please let me know so then I can make a better video in the future. If you need any help with them, you're more than welcome to ask them on my Discord or on my Twitch. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions to the best of my ability. This is a technique that would take a little while for you to be able to wrap your head around it, but once you've done it a couple times, it'll become a breeze. It's incredibly useful in terms of organization because things would just be super nice and tidy, but also if you happen to come across any issues in the future, it'll help you troubleshoot them a lot easier. If you guys need any help with them, as I said, I'm happy to give you guys a hand to the best of my ability. This is something I feel will be very useful for you guys to learn as it'll open up a bunch of opportunities for your stream. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape or form. If you guys have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream, and I'll catch you all later.